All right. So I feel like there's a lot of gossip about you. Okay. The three of cups um, in reverse is coming out. This could also mean like, you know, whatever, because uh, I'm seeing somebody watching you, studying you, seeing what's, what you're, what's going on with you. Okay. This could be somebody that you've been waiting for, waiting to hear from. Um, but yeah, nothing's going well for them at all in their life. Um, you know, this could also be your energy, but I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing you planting seeds for your future. I'm seeing you putting a lot of hard work in for yourself. And I'm also seeing that you were very underestimated by this person. They could be looking into your money, your finances. Um, I'm getting that you could have, like, started a creative project that you've been growing, okay? Um, and you're about to see... Uh, the harvest from all of the work that you've put in, okay? So you're about to be very independent. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, she always flips into uh, the Empress and the Minor Arcana. Um, I'm getting that this person, yeah, see, they're seeing you as an alchemist. Whatever it is that you're working on, I feel like it's about to it's about to be a big success. And people are talking about what you're doing for work. Or this person could be, like, upset and jealous, maybe, over what you're doing for work. But they see it, they see it turning into a, a success. You're growing it here, okay? Yeah, now this person, I feel like they're jealous. They're envious. Now they want to come towards you. Um... And this person's been watching you, spying on you, studying you, looking into your finances. Yeah, see, because they're broke. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't have any money. They could even be bankrupt. Okay, they're completely broke and they're seeing you about to get um, all of this money in abundance. But it's something that you've worked for. They're watching what you're doing for work. So feel like they're looking at a computer here. You could be doing something online, um, you know, on the Internet, right? You could have your own business. This just, to, it feels like your own special project that you're working on, that you're growing, okay? And you're working really hard on it here. People have been talking about you. In the background, this person, they can't stand it. Yeah, see, you're in your emperor energy, okay? They may even be um, trying to find out if you have someone new around you. Like, you could have an emperor that's entering into your energy right now. Um, you may not have met this person yet, but they're coming forward and you're ready for love. This is... This is the payoff of all of your hard work that you've put in, okay? It's all about to pay off. What did I say? The, the Seven of Pentacles always flips into the Empress in the Minor Arcana. That's this one right here. So you're going through or you've just been through a transformation, okay? I'm, all, I'm also getting that when this person came into your life, they could have promised... Um, they could have made some empty promises. I'll be with you forever. I love you. I'm never going to leave you, right? And I feel like this person, that, that's exactly what they did. They, they turned around. They walked out of your life. They left you maybe feeling abandoned and alone, possibly not thinking that you were enough. Okay, they could have entertained other people with these three cups here. Okay, now they want they want to... They want to avoid the other people that they chose over you, and they want their empress in the minor arcana. They want the one who's abundant, who's independent. They could have thought that your idea was crazy or stupid, okay? They may have even, like, scoffed at it or laughed in your face about it. That's what I'm getting. And look, boy, did you show them up, okay? 
Um, yeah, they're upset. They're they're jealous. They're envious because um, you could be getting new love here, or you're definitely standing in your power in emperor energy. And um, yeah, they see how powerful you are. They see that you're a, ma a master manifester. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that um, this this was a soulmate connection, but I feel like they made promises, empty promises to you, empty promises to someone else. They put you in some kind of competition here because somebody may want to have a face-off with you now. Yeah, they juggled you. They juggled you with other people. They um, They had you wait for some kind of answer or for them to come in and fulfill their promises to you. They never did. You know, you could have been in separation from this person um, anywhere from three years, three months, to maybe nine years or nine months. They've been watching you this whole time, watching you grow, right? Watching your growth, watching your expansion, watching your success. They're, they're literally trying to figure out how much money you make. I don't know if they're looking into your bank accounts or, I mean, if this person had your information before to get into your accounts, you need to change your information. You need to change your passwords because they're trying to add up how much money you've made off an idea that they could have called stupid. They're looking into your finances, collective. And they're broke, okay? They're jealous. Yeah. You could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Um, you could be a Virgo, maybe a Taurus, Aries. Seven of Wands. But here's the thing. It's coming out in reverse. Um, you've got all of this strength, all of this power, all of these manifestation abilities. You're a hard worker. You're independent. you got everything you need. Um, and then some, right? But you're out here single for now. I feel like you are about to have a new emperor coming into your life. But um, here's the thing. This person knows if they were to come towards you, they're completely defenseless here. Um, I feel like they've got no excuses for what they've done. And, um, yeah, I kind of get the sense they want to come in and talk to you about your money, your finances, maybe even ask you some questions about it. Yeah, don't give this person any information. I'm also kind of seeing this as you putting up some extra security on anything that you have on the internet, okay? Changing those passwords so this person can't, can't look at your stuff. Or I could see you maybe um, putting your um, social media pages on private or deleting them all together or blocking this person off of your information, okay? I can see that in this, in this combo. Um, yeah, because they're looking into your financial records, all right? I'm also getting that there could be some people that are just hounding them. Um, their phone could be ringing off the hook because I feel like they're trying to avoid everybody else, um, that they were entertaining besides you. And I feel like people won't leave them alone. Or maybe they have a lot of bill collectors as well. They could be getting a lot of, like, people showing up at their door wanting money, okay? You know, they laughed at you before. I feel like this person hurt you. They bragged about you. Look, and you gave them nothing but love. You know, maybe at one point when this person met you, you could have been struggling in a financial struggle, trying to build your finances, trying to build your stability. You know, maybe you didn't have a fancy enough job. They thought it was funny. You know, maybe all you had at the time to offer this person was that beautiful cup of love in your hand. Okay, and I feel like um, they, were, they were laughing about you behind the scenes. 
They were arrogant, um, smug about hurting you, okay? Putting you in third parties and thinking it was funny. That's what this person did. And talking about you like you weren't enough. Um, you know, and laughing about it. This person could be a heavy drinker. They could um, spend a lot of time at a bar. You know, they could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Aries. What's this one? Yeah, but you ended up being an empress, man. Oh, my gosh. This person, literally, they treated you like you weren't enough, and you ended up being an empress. If they had only seen the worth and the value of your love, okay? And now they're jealous. They're envious because, you know what, the one that they thought wasn't enough is, the one, is probably the most abundant and stable person that they know. This person could have been very materialistic. I feel like they judged you. Um, for like for superficial, materialistic, lame reasons, okay? Shallow. Shallow is the word that I'm getting here. They were very shallow, and um, they didn't see what was, you know, the value of what was in your heart. When it, when it, uh, and I'm seeing that you as a feminine energy here, when a good woman gives you your heart, man, you, the, the people don't know how valuable that is. You know, honestly, let's just say you were rich, wealthy, okay? There, I feel like this cup, this one little cup is more valuable than any kind of riches you could possibly have. And this person didn't see that in you. And not, and not only did they treat you like you were nothing, but they laughed about it. Okay, now they're seeing you as somebody that has more to bring to the table than anybody that they've ever met. This person is now realizing, man, um, they had the best thing that they're ever going to find. And they treated you like, like nothing. Yeah, see, look, now they want this new beginning with you. Now they want to put the work in, right? But I feel like you're leaving them behind or you're starting something new with someone else because I've got the emperor, the empress. I feel like that's all your energy, though, coming in really strong. This person may even feel like you're betraying them because you're not focused on them. See, you've got your back turned here. You're taking this cup right there and you're walking clear off your spread. Um, you're focused on you, whatever it is that you're building. And you know in this energy, you don't need anybody. See, they thought that you would, you, this was unconditional love, right? But when they walked away, they made a choice to leave you behind. Okay, they, all of this was a choice. They chose to leave you for other people. They chose to misjudge you. They chose, they chose this. They chose to laugh at you after they hurt you, right, and betrayed you. This was, this is all on them. But they're going to see, they're going to, they're feeling like you're betraying them by not paying them any attention, not chasing after them. Who is this person? They were very materialistic and very shallow and lame, okay? They may be very suspicious that you're meeting someone new. They're wondering who you're talking to. So not only are they looking into your finances collective, but they're, um, this is somebody who um, they'll look at your social media, whatever you're posting on the Internet. They're not just looking at your posts, but they're going through all the comments, okay? And they're reading those comments to see who's talking to you. Um, who are you interested in? Who are you talking to the most? That kind of thing, right? They may think that you have a couple different options. They are totally walking away from this connection and they don't want you to. You know, you're not speaking to them anymore. You're keeping your personal life hidden. 
you're booting them out of uh, your social media or trying to block them, but I feel like they, this person is watching you under some kind of fake profile. Okay. But yeah, you're, you, they think that you're trying to keep secrets from them. Honestly, you're just out here living your life. They left you behind. What is this person? What are they thinking? You know what I mean? They left you behind thinking that you weren't enough. Oh, man. They didn't know the worth of your cup of love. I'm telling you. Yeah, major crashing tower moment. This is a sudden realization. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, you may have new options around you, but here's the thing. Just like I said, you're allowed to have other love, and you're allowed to be loved. Everybody deserves real love. And this person left you behind. Okay, misjudged you, mistreated you, I'm hearing mishandled you. They left you behind, right? So now new love is coming in, right? Here's a new person, here's a new person. You're attracting people to you like a, like a love magnet collective because you're in this beautiful empress energy where you're independent and don't need anybody. Do you know how attractive you are right now? To so many people, you're about to be dating. You could be online dating. If you're online dating, okay, if you're on an online dating site, you could very well be talking to this ex and not even know it. I feel like they're showing up in your social media under a fake profile, okay? So be really careful who you accept friend requests from, Make sure you know who it is that you're talking to. But, I, yeah, I'm getting the sense that they could have even seen you or found you on a, on a dating site. But here's the thing. They put you out in the cold. They didn't think that you were worthy of anything. Look, in the Five of Pentacles energy, that's being broke. That's being homeless. That's being codependent, needing help, Right? Somebody who's, a, they saw you as someone who was a peasant, who didn't have enough to bring to the table, whose ideas could have been crazy. You know, that's what they thought of you. You know, they didn't realize um, that you were going to transform right before their very eyes. Like, they didn't realize that. And they know that, that when, they, when they hurt you collective, they actually hurt themselves. And now um, you get to live your own life, you know? And I don't think you're intentionally trying to keep anything a secret from anybody. I just feel like um, you don't want this person stalking you online anymore. They've got no right to be all up in your business. They don't. They don't have a right. Look at this person's finding out that you're moving on and they are mad, mad, big mad. Okay, mad. All right, that's what I'm getting off of that Knight of Swords. You could be a Cancer, heavy Cancer energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Virgo energy as well. Okay, but you're determined. And yes, you are in your Emperor energy. It's the Emperor that drives the chariot. So you're, both, you're in both Emperor and Empress energy right now. Like, you feel complete already, just on your own. You know? That this person is irate about this. But they don't have any right to be. They, they hey, you know, um, every choice has a consequence. And this is the consequences of their choices. You get to move on having this victory. You're having a victory in life, a glow up. And you've been put through a battle here also with the chariot. And you're over them with the chariot. And they can't stand it. Okay? But this is, this is their fault for the decisions that they made. You know? Th this was all their choice. They chose to treat you the way that they did. They chose other people over you. 
Like, where were they when you were hurting, you know? Yeah, now they want to get back together. How dare you, Collective? You know, they. how dare you live your life? How dare you start, um, you know, finding love or attracting new love? They may even, for some of you, you're already engaged to a new emperor, getting ready to be married. And this that has this person losing their mind. They're mad. They're upset. They don't want you to move forward. They want to ride in and block your forward movement. They're in a whole lot of regret. Okay, and here's you. Yes, blocking them out of your life off of social media. They may just, they may be realizing um, suddenly that they're blocked. You know, maybe you just did that, right? Um, they feel you disconnecting here and cutting them out of your life and moving on. You don't want to be in stagnancy anymore, and you're certainly not going to keep waiting for somebody who um, originally think, you know, thought that you were nothing. Yeah, see, they're watching you close. They're watching you, spying on you, trying to find information about you, digging into your finances, looking through all of the comments. Yeah, they're watching you move on. And they're watching you on a glow up and leveling up. Um, if you have, if you're working online on the internet, they may even be watching you make another transition from working from, for someone else to working for yourself and being your own boss. I feel like you're being put on a pedestal here. You're reaching people around the world. You're very balanced, stable, confident, beautiful. There's so many, you're getting so much love here. This is almost, because people are loving what you're doing. This is um, being in the public eye, okay? And um, you're, you're gaining the attention, getting the attention of a lot of people who love what you're doing. Okay, so your business, whatever this is, it's going to be booming. It's already a success. Sorry about that. My battery died. Um, where was I? Yeah, not only are um, is this person in awe of what you're accomplishing out here, but you're making them feel like a fool, okay? You are. You're making them uh, feel like a complete fool because remember, this is somebody who told other people that, that you weren't enough. They, they bragged about this, about hurting you to others. They laughed about it. They, they could have laughed about your idea, right, and called it stupid. And now look at you. <laughs> look at you, Emperor, Empress Energy, right? All of this abundance, okay? Independent, stable, strong, upgrading in your life, leveling up on a glow up, reaching people around the world with whatever you're doing online. Everybody's loving you. People are going to start coming in and date you. You know what? You're making this person feel and look like a fool because at the time, they were one. They didn't see your value. They didn't see your worth. They completely underestimate, underestimated you. They had no idea what you were capable of, and they treated you like a joke. So, yeah, they were a fool. Um, yeah, now this person, I feel like they want to communicate, but you've got them blocked. They may know that you don't want to talk to them anymore. Um, they're jealous. They're envious. But they've got, they're doing the their best to have their nose in your business, okay? So I need you guys to be really careful about who you're talking to online, all right? Let's get some advice or, you know, oracles, whatever spirit wants you to know, okay? Messages for my beautiful collective. You, your person could be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, maybe a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. All right, what can you show me for my beautiful collective? 
Yeah, never ending story. This is coming to an end with the 10. You're realizing, you know what, sitting in stagnancy, hurting over this, pe or this person, um, the pains from the past, the worries, the sleepless nights, the fatigue. I, you've outgrown this collective. It's done. It's over. You're closing out a cycle. You're completing a cycle beautifully here. And you're realizing that this just isn't for you anymore. You don't want to be in this energy anymore. Okay? You don't. This could also be this person's energy, realizing that you're deciding they're not for you. They're not. See, they thought you weren't good enough for them. It turns out this person really isn't adequate for you. Okay? Yeah. So you're leaving them behind. You're growing and they're not. All right? Yeah, you are truly blessed. Yeah. And it's making this person, like, it's making them angry, upset, um, jealous, envious. But the spirit is saying, this is fair. This is fair. You know, this person chose this. And you have every right to move on with your life. So, you know, um, I don't think this person can come back in. Okay, I don't. Yeah, you're clearing that energy out, making space for a new soulmate connection. So you have someone new coming in, and I feel like it's going to be an emperor. Um, so you could be noticing that you're um, maybe packing boxes or clearing out clutter, anything that doesn't resonate with you anymore, getting rid of past up. Some of you, um, you're, some of you are even being led to move that kind of thing but some of you are even like when i moved into this house i i had to get two moving companies one to move the stuff that i still did want but the other one to get rid of everything that i didn't i had to or i had to hire a moving company to do it that's how much stuff i got rid of i'm talking furniture gifts Things that I had carried with me for years, you know, I'm telling you, I got rid of more than, more than half of my stuff. Okay, probably almost all of it, really. So, you know, you may notice that you're doing that. You're actually making space for this new soulmate connection to come in. You may not even realize it. Okay. But yeah, Spirit's leading you and you've gone by the book. You've done your work. You've done everything Spirit's asked you to do. And you are ready um, for love, the right kind of love. And so I feel like they've got a new soulmate connection that's coming towards you. You're closing the door on this person from your past. They can't get it together. They didn't know your value. Yeah, time's up on them. So be open to receive the new new you've got um you possibly uh, i feel like you've created a whole new life for yourself and like i said some of you are going to be leaving an, a job behind and starting to work for yourself right um you're leaving old like um friends family members that weren't true to you you're leaving them behind getting rid of stuff like you're totally revamping your life here and um and you're making space for this new person coming in so you're about to get love you're about to get everything um abundance success independence love and justice <laughs>